Then we add an attribute cast to save some disk space. Let's say this is the object to be cached. We can see the number of points, primitives, and vertices, as well as the attributes it has. Some attributes are flow type, some are integer, some are vector, and some are scalar. By default, the bit depth of these attributes is 32. It represents the precision of the attributes. For instance, currently, normal is accurate to several decimal digits. Some attributes are not necessary to be so precise sometimes. But if every attribute is cached in 32-bit, a lot of disk space will be wasted. So we can compress some attributes as per the project requirement. Well, let's cache one frame first by default and take a look at the size. It's 430 megabytes. Then duplicate this file cache node. Here we compress the attribute selectively. For example, the velocity attribute is not necessarily too precise. We compress it to 16-bit float. As seen, the velocity changes, but just a little bit based on the original data. If it's acceptable, we can handle it in this way. The position attribute can be compressed too. Take a look at the difference before and after. It's fine. Then the normal attribute. Before compression, the values here are almost equal to one. After compression, they become one. If it's not required to be highly precise, the 16-bit flow is enough. Then the UV attribute is on the vertex class. Add another conversion. Change it to vertex. 16-bit flow as well. Then let's cache one frame again. The size is 168 megabytes, much smaller than before reduced by at least 240 megabytes. If one frame saves more than 240 megabytes, five frames can save at least one gigabyte. If you cache a very long sequence, like 150 frames for this project, then it can save more than 30 gigabytes of disk space. And this is only one sequence. Suppose in a large project, there are a large number of particles and in many sequences to be cached. Compressing can save considerable disk space. But there's one thing we need to note. If points are too many, up to tens of millions, it's better not to compress the ID attribute. Because the ID attribute records the ID data of every point. After compression, the data will be destroyed. Let's check the user manual. It tells the specific range of different bit depths. Say there are millions of points now, and I compress the ID attribute to 16-bit integer. Some ID values become negative, and the range is the same like this. That is to say, 16-bit depth cannot contain millions of ID values. All in all, whether the data can be compressed depends on whether it's destroyed after compression. We need to keep this in mind. Here I just compress the velocity attribute and keep the position attribute as it is. It's dynamic after all. Then let's cache it. 